The 2024 Nebraska legislative session begins tomorrow, and Bayard Senator Steve Erdman says he's ready to hit the ground running in his final year in the unicameral. KNEB.TV News starts right now. From your trusted source for news in western Nebraska and eastern Wyoming, this is KNEB.TV News. Presented by Platte Valley Companies, premier provider of financial services. Hello, I'm Ryan Murphy. This is KNEB.TV News, powered by Platte Valley Companies. Thanks for joining me in our top story. Changes to the rules of the Nebraska legislature will be on Senator Steve Erdman's agenda as soon as the gavel falls tomorrow to begin the 60-day legislative session. Erdman says if he had his way, there would be a complete rewrite of the rules, but that would take a special session and he's going to push for nine changes to help avoid the chaos of the last session. He tells KDB News one of those changes would be in the way debate on a bill would end with a modification to the cloture rule. We're going to eliminate present not voting. So in other words, if you have 49 people there, it takes 33. If you have 48 people there, it takes 32. And then it'll continue to decrease down until you get to 37. And, and you have to have two-thirds of 37, which is 25. That'll be the least number you can have for closure. Because what happened is people will sit on the sideline and say, President not voting, and then that doesn't get you to the 33. Aside from rule changes, Erdman says he wants a change to the property tax exemption for destroyed property, so it takes into account damaged property, as well as a measure forcing those using eminent domain to pay repayment value for property taken for a public purpose. Lawmakers will start the year with more than 150 measures awaiting debate on general or select file and nearly 550 pending in committees, which does not include any new bills that may be submitted this session. Well, despite mounting pressure to do so otherwise, Nebraska Governor Jim Pillen is sticking by his decision that the state will not apply for the summer EBT program for the coming year. The group Nebraska Appleseed submitted a petition with more than 6,100 signatures from more than 200 communities asking Pillen to reverse his decision from last month to turn down $18 million that the state could obtain through the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Pillen said Nebraska taxpayers expect that pandemic-era government relief programs to end, but the refusal won't mean hungry kids will lose access to summer nutrition as the state continues to participate in the existing USDA Summer Food Service Program. He says the program best ensures access to healthy meals and snacks, as well as educational and enrichment activities, and also allows providers to spot more serious issues like malnutrition, neglect, and abuse, which are often missed during the summer months. We'll have more news right after this. The journey of a dream becoming reality. When we're young, a dream develops into a passion. That passion continues to manifest and grows as you do. It becomes all you want to do and all you want to be. It gives you direction. It drives you. Then your dream has become a reality. When that dream is ready to be reality, Platte Valley Bank will be with you every step of the way. back, a Scotch Bluff woman accused of embezzling thousands of dollars from a girls' softball club she was overseeing has a Scotch Bluff County District Court date later this week. Heather Pias made her initial appearance in Scotch Bluff County Court last month on a charge of theft by unlawful taking more than $5,000, which is a Class 2A felony. She is accused of using funds of the Broadway bombers to make a string of personal purchases, which totaled in excess of $10,000 between 2018 and 2022. At her court appearance last Friday, the 44-year-old waived her preliminary hearing, and the case was bound over to district court for this Friday for an arraignment. Paez is free on bond of 10% of 
$150,000, which was posted shortly after her arrest. Well, the City of Scottsbluff Transportation Department, in conjunction with the Burlington Northern Santa Fe Railroad, is advising the public that the Avenue B Railroad crossing will be closed this week. Starting tomorrow morning, repair work will have the crossing closed until completion, which is currently expected at the end of the day Thursday. Detours will be in place and the city appreciates all the public's patience and the use of alternate routes during the project. And the minimum wage in Nebraska has risen to $12 an hour as of January 1st, an increase of buck fifty after voters approved a ballot measure last year to make gradual increases in the minimum pay. Last year, voters approved a ballot initiative to increase the state's minimum wage by $1.50 a year until it reaches $15 an hour in 2026. Nebraska is among 20 states that are increasing their minimum wage in 2024. The state with the highest minimum wage in the country will be Washington State at $16.28 an hour, with New York and California right behind at $16 an hour. Life is crazy. Pain is stressful. How can anybody concentrate with these busy schedules? Now you can. This is Ben Moravec coming to you from HydroZen, a float therapy business right here in Scotts Bluff. I'm here today to let you know we now have memberships for $49 monthly. You can guarantee yourself at least one float per month. You know how floating keeps your muscles relaxed, your joints relieved, and your brain clear to think? Now you can float at a reduced rate each month. Inquire today at HydroZenFloat.com or call us at 308-63-FLOAT. HydroZen. Unplug and recharge. Better sleep and better health can be found at Western Sleep Medicine in Gehring. Since 2006, Western Sleep Medicine has offered the lowest cost sleep testing either in their independent sleep laboratory or the privacy of your own home. You have control over your health care and your out-of-pocket costs. All insurance is accepted for a much lower cost than the regional option. If you need a sleep study, ask for Western Sleep Medicine. They've helped thousands of people over the years and want to help you. Western Sleep Medicine. Better sleep, better health. This is KNEB.TV Ag News from the FNBO Ag Desk. FNBO, the great big small bank. Students from Bridgeport, Kimball, Baird, and Morrill were connecting the dots at the Prairie Winds Community Center in Bridgeport. Sarah Paisley, 4-H educator for Garden and Morrill Counties, explained more on the career simulation. We really try to challenge kids to think beyond. Um, we give them cards that are uh, luck of the draw, so sometimes they get a uh, drop out of high school. Um, some of them are going go to be eligible to go to a four-year school. But they really have to process um, decisions that could help them or hinder them in finding a successful job that meets their criteria. Um, this morning we spent our, our time learning about soft skills, so they learn how to write a resume, um, do interviews, and um, networking. Paisley said the simulation makes the students really think about careers in moving in those directions. A lot of times, though, we see we have kids come back and tell us about how they help them understand that um, even as a freshman, that they can pick classes at their high school level to prepare them for their college uh, courses that they might need to take. Um, so, and we also really encourage kids to do job shadowing and internships. And so, we do see some of those kids reach out to these employers and end up working for them as a summer job or um, get just job shadowing during the school year. Connecting the dots has been held at six sites around the Panhandle this year. The simulation also looks at how life can create challenges, from having triplets to a job loss because of downsizing, and how to meet those challenges. With the UNL Panhandle Research Extension and Education Center in Scotts Bluff, I'm Chabella Guzman. Welcome to the Snow Show, boys and girls. Today we'll be learning about safe snow tips. Yay! Tip number one. When scooping the sidewalk, always deposit the snow on your lawn and gardens. Not only is it environmentally safe, it keeps our streets and gutters clear. Tip number two. Where there's ice on the ground, use salt only as a last resort. Use no salt de-icers, which are less harmful to plants, animals, and your concrete. 
Be safe around snow and ice. The show is brought to you today by Tri-State Water. Are new windows from Renewal by Anderson a great investment? You're darn right they are. Did you know that for less than your cable bill or cell phone bill each month, you could have new windows from Renewal by Anderson right now? Do the math. Renewal by Anderson windows will likely cut your energy bill significantly. They will likely substantially increase the value of your home. They're a great investment. Please contact our team now and ask about our fantastic financing options with approved credit right now. Renewal by Anderson, a great investment? You're darn right. Let's take a look at your community calendar brought to you by Riverstone Bank. The community calendar is brought to you by Riverstone Bank. We're local and we love our community. Benzel Pest Control has been the Wyoming and Nebraska area's most committed professional pest control company. We have four generations and nearly 50 years of experience serving Nebraska, Wyoming, and Colorado, as well as certified entomologists on staff. So whether you're dealing with spiders, wasps, rodents, or any other unwanted visitors, Give Benzel Pest Control a call today for an estimate at 888-229-2128 or visit our website at benzelpestcontrol.com. At Platte Valley Bank, we want to help you take advantage of every adventure. We know you have plans, goals, and dreams. Let us help you with them. Whether you are just starting the business you have always imagined or looking to grow your existing one, we have a business loan to fit your needs. Stop in and see us at Platte Valley Bank and let us help make your dreams a reality. You belong here. Platte Valley Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. And finally tonight, the City of Scottsdale Parks Department will be picking up Christmas trees again starting this week. As it has been in the past, the public has multiple options for tree disposal, as long as all lights, ornaments, and tree stands are removed. You can take them directly to the Riverside Discovery Center Park drop-off location. Just watch for signs directing you to the site. For those wanting their trees to be picked up, you can schedule a pickup time by calling 632-0058 or by emailing a request to rdeeds at scotchlift.org and make sure that the tree is placed by the curb in front of your home. All Christmas trees will be mulched and will be free to the public sometime in mid-March. Well, that does it for us this time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Stay safe out there. We'll see you here next time.